Tonight, the western U.S. is getting hammered again by severe weather. Storms are dumping rain on the coast and snow in the mountains. David Begno is in Sherwood, Oregon. Just south of Portland, Oregon, the Tualatin River has 10 times more water in it than normal, nearly submerging these vehicles and closing roads. What do you think when you look out and you see that? <laughs> in nearby Make Sherwood, nervous. Oregon, Philip and Lisa oh, yeah. Hahn have what oh, looks to be lakefront water, property. We got white caps. Yep, yep, we sure do. Yeah, we were out here last night. Yeah, you could, uh, you could surf out here practically. This is what it usually looks like. Tonight, it is submerged in 10 feet of fast moving flood water. How much does the water come up every day in the last five days? Oh, a couple of feet at least every day. According to the National Weather Service, it's been the wettest December so far on record in Portland. Damage from the storms is estimated to be at least $20 million in Oregon and Washington state. Along the coast, flooding and landslides have forced the U.S. Coast Guard to close all ports along a 500-mile stretch because of debris in the water. On Mount Hood, skiers are riding on 36 inches of fresh powder. Last year, some mountain areas had less than 5 inches. Moving south in Northern California, 25-foot waves nearly swallowed this pier in Pacifica. North of Los Angeles, a portion of the Ventura Pier fell into the ocean. Back in Sherwood, Oregon, Phil Hahn has been pacing and watching. The water has advanced 300 yards. It's now 150 feet from the Hahn's front door. Once it breaches this, this berm right here, this whole area out here will flood very, very quickly because it's flat as a pancake. Not far from the Hans home, I'm standing in what should be a field of hay, but tonight there is a current running through it. When the Hans went to bed last night, to give you an idea, the water was right here where this stake is. It's moved 10 feet in the last 12 hours. Jim, tonight the couple has a truck and trailer parked right in front of their house, ready to go if the water forces them to evacuate. David Begno in the middle of it in Sherwood, Oregon.